Hi, my name is Caleb and I'm a fourth year student here at TRU majoring in theater. We posted a video a while ago where Emily shared her favorite things about Kamloops. I'm here today to talk to you about my favorite things to do in Kamloops while physically distancing. We get a lot of questions about Kamloops, specifically what there is to do here. I'm here to talk about all the great things that come with living and studying in a smallish city and what I like most about living in Kamloops. By now, we should all be familiar with what the health experts are recommending. Visiting outdoors, maintaining a safe distance from others, and sticking to a small social bubble. Well, we can do all that here in Kamloops, so let's go. Let's start with the population. There are a little over 90,000 people living here in Kamloops, and while you won't find the hustle and bustle of a large city center like Vancouver or Calgary, it does mean that fresh air and outdoor activities are more accessible for you, your bubble, and everyone else. The city of Kamloops has over 60 parks listed on their website, which means that no matter where you are in the city, chances are you're near a park. Take a walk, relax and read a book, or watch the ridiculous dogs run around at one of the many dog parks. It's important to note that Riverside Park, MacArthur Island Park, and the Rivers Trail all have fully paved loops and sections for people to enjoy. If you're into outdoor adventures and sports, then Kamloops is the right place for you. There are extensive hiking, nature, paddling and fishing lakes, and mountain biking trail networks that allow more than enough space for enjoying the great outdoors and keeping a safe physical distance from others. For more on all things recreation and outdoors, be sure to visit tourismcamloops.ca. They're the experts. Which brings me to the next important piece about Kamloops. We are in Canada. We do have seasons here. For fall semester, look forward to beautiful fall landscapes, nice warm days with cooler evenings. It starts dropping to freezing by the end of fall. Transitioning to winter semester, expect snow and cold in January and February. In the valley, head into the mountains and it gets even colder. Remember, many of the outdoor recreation areas remain open throughout the winter months. If you're willing to layer up, you can still get outside and get some vitamin D. Good news is, all cold things come to an end, and the final part of winter semester is quite pleasant as springtime rolls around in March. If you're lucky enough to live and study here year-round, you get to experience Kamloops in the summer. It gets pretty hot. Temperatures reach more than 30 degrees Celsius, and the days are long. But now let's get back to things to do. If golfing is your thing, or you just want to see how far you can hit them at the driving range, we've got that too. Kamloops has 11 golf courses in the vicinity, from luxury to local. There's also a free mini golf course at MacArthur Island Park. Bring your own putter and golf balls. And there are two excellent disc golf courses that are free to use. Another perk of being here is that it doesn't take long to get away from city light pollution. You can drive about 15 to 20 minutes and view breathtaking cosmic events like comets, meteor showers, northern lights if you're lucky, and general stargazing. And we have an observatory on campus that sometimes opens for special astronomical events like a lunar eclipse. On your first visit to our downtown core, you'll notice many vibrant murals. We even have a back alley mural tour which showcases the best outdoor artwork downtown. This tour is self-guided, so you can check it out anytime that works for you. There's also the downtown heritage walking tour and the public art walking tour. Many of our museums, galleries, and movie theaters have been able to reopen safely during the pandemic. With safety protocols in mind, the public is welcome to enjoy the Kamloops Art Gallery, the Kamloops Museum and Archives, and the Kamloops Film Society. They even made a pop-up drive-in movie theater. I volunteered there this summer. Take, for instance, the Kamloops Art Gallery's biannual Luminosity Outdoor Video Public Art Exhibition. Artists from across the country contribute work and install them in public spaces around the city. You can catch a tour or take a self-guided trip around the town. Spending time outdoors is important for our mental and physical health. Our campus spans 250 hectares and there's plenty of green space to enjoy, including our beautiful horticulture garden. Look closely in the fall semester and you'll notice fruit trees, wild strawberries, and other edible goodies hidden around campus. But you'll have to get there before the deer. Hey, wait a minute, these are deer prints. The deer ate this corn! During winter, our hardworking grounds crew clears snow from the main walkway, so you are able to stroll around the campus. This pandemic has shown us the true value of our world-renowned BC Provincial Parks. If you've got a free weekend and the will to sleep under the stars, camping is extremely accessible in Kamloops. Paul Lake and Lac Lejeune are two of the bigger nearby provincially maintained campgrounds. Beyond those two, there are countless provincial and privately owned parks, so take your pick for a weekend getaway or a day trip to shake up the routine. Another classic Canadian adventure is found in the mountains, skiing. There's an extensive cross-country ski trail network, a world-renowned ski resort called Sun Peaks, and a local ski hill called Harper Mountain. It can be hard to meet friends in a new city, but don't worry, the TRU Student Union is here for you. 
Trusu has more than 70 student interest clubs, the total varies year by year, and many of them are connecting with members virtually, or like in the case of the TRU Adventure U Club, by physically distant outdoor activities. And if you're a gamer, TRU Wolfpack Athletics launched an eSports league. It's open to everyone in the TRU community and accessible from anywhere in the world. Community groups have also adapted and are determined to facilitate connection. Kamloops Pride usually hosts in-person events, but are keeping the gatherings going virtually. And finally, TRU is committed to supporting students. The Faculty of Student Development hosts regular Instagram and Facebook Live sessions with wide-ranging, helpful topics. Other essential student services like counseling, health and wellness, academic supports, diversity and equity, and career and experiential learning are all delivering their services in their own unique way, virtually or otherwise. Being a fourth year theater student at TRU, I'm very grateful that the Actors Workshop Theater is still able to put on productions during the pandemic. So as you can see, TRU is a pretty great place to be, and so is Kamloops. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. And until next time, I've been Caleb, and this is TRU.